sorry about that. I have what I guess um, the lingo is called now a Velcro dog, one that is right there all the time because I work at home. And he's laying on the floor, so if you hear snoring, heavy breathing, I am not being a creeper. There's a dog in here. Um, so I wanted to share with you my coffee and candles. Today's going to be a, a very long video. I'm going to go through my fall candles with you. This is going to be interesting to say the least. The coffee cup that I have, and I'm sorry if there's like lip gloss or anything on the front of this. This is a Bob's Burgers coffee cup. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you. On the back it says, you are my fam you're my family and I love you, but you're terrible. You're all terrible. And this makes me think of my family. Um, I, when I first started watching Bob's Burgers, it was, I think, 2018, 2019. And I would... I worked at night and, you know, doing similar things to what I do now. And I worked from home and I would be listening or watching Bob's Burgers in the background while I was working because it kept me awake. So that was fun. But to get into the video, I do have to move some stuff around. We're going to go through my Halloween candles first, and then we will get into the fall candles that I have. And... Let's just talk about these candles. Um, I'm gonna show you the new ones that I got, even though you may see them in a uh, haul video. We've got Vampire Blood, the new one. I am gonna burn through my old candles first before I start on these, with the exception of ones that I don't have. Like I didn't have the moon, Spooky Moon Teeny before, so I'm gonna try that one this year. We've got Ghoul Friend. And we also have Spooky Moon Teeny. So I'm not going to go over all the notes because I have a lot of candles here. I'm waiting for my Halloween candles until October. But um, probably September-ish I'm going to start burning these. Maybe the end of August. Because they're potent and there's a lot of pumpkin. I don't mind it so much but I know my family probably wants to wait until it cools down a little bit more to start on the pumpkin on the pumpkin train that I, I run every year around my house. <laughs> um, but the rest of them, some may not be categorized or ones that come out during the fall, but I see them as fall candles. I've started a teeny bit already. I have a uh, cinnamon, vanilla, and hot cocoa and cream that I've burned a little bit here and there. Some of these have been burned before and I'm okay with that, just a FYI. We've got Perfect Pumpkin, which I want to keep this afterward because the picture makes me think of my cat Freddy Bear and the cat we used to have Momo. And this is, oh, I said I wasn't going to do notes, but we've got Perfect Pumpkin, Black Cat's Clove, Ghostly Vanilla, and Batty Brown Sugar. This one I like. I like all of them. This is, this doesn't have as much spice, I feel, as pumpkin carving. Pumpkin carving is freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. So I've went through all those. Okay, see this, I always get mixed up. We also have a Wicked Apple that I've burned maybe once or twice that we're going to work on. I have another pumpkin carving that I've already burned, so I'm probably going to burn this one first. I have another ghoul friend, so... I actually just finished a ghoul friend like a month or two ago. This one is a Halloween candle, but also to me is a little bit not a Halloween candle. If that makes sense, I think you can use it in the spring. Might be a little heavy, but still nice. I've got Hocus Pocus 2 Brew Potion from Goose Creek. We have Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween Night from Goose Creek. And we've got Hocus Pocus 2 Forever Bewitching from Goose Creek. So I usually go through anywhere from 10 to 20 candles a month. Am I hoping to finish these in a month? I don't know because I've got what? How many? If I could learn to count today. I've got like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 candles that are just Halloween. So I'm going to be burning them all month long. Um, I want to start in October in the beginning of the month. And if I don't have another candle to burn on Halloween, I will find a different one in here that's close enough. But 
<clears throat> it's not that I have to have them out of my collection, but I want to be seasonal, at least with the Halloween candles. That way, if I have something left over, instead of finishing it, I am going to store it away for the following year. I actually have places I can put these. So now we're going to get into the ones that I'm categorizing or waiting to use for fall. Or closer to fall. We've got Cafe Latte, which is a new candle. And this is a bold espresso beans, vanilla sweet cream, and caramel drizzle. I like this one, but it reminds me a lot of the... There's a caramel one with like that was yellow orange with a bear on it. I don't remember the name of it. This is feels like it's a dupe of that, but the name is different. We've got pumpkin cinnamon, cinnamon bun, which is one of my favorites. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to do my older candles first just because rotation because by the time I get to my new candles they'll be considered old um we've got Bridgerton Danbury shortbread which I love this candle I have two backups of this one this one and another one we have pumpkin spice latte I have one that I started burning but then I decided I'm gonna wait and still because it still gets hot out here that Danbury shortbreads making that come on my eyeballs. We've got freshly brewed coffee, which this is an all year round type of scent for me, but would like to use this this fall. And we have another pumpkin. Oh wait, is that the same one? I already showed you pumpkin spice latte. I'm so excited to, I showed that to you twice. We've got mixed berry crumble, which is another one I want to use. The next one only has four candles in it. So, we have pumpkin and peanut brittle, which is half burned. And this, I had some candles in this one. We have another Hopper's Coffee. This is not the one from my, my candles of the week. I have several of these and we'll be using them accordingly. I've got award-winning pumpkin mint milkshake. This one was kind of weird, and there's vanilla ice cream, mint chips, pumpkin pie spice. I get a lot of clove in this one out of that pumpkin pie spice, which is a little weird. And we have a pumpkin pecan waffles, one of my favorite fall scents. I would love to start burning this now, but I know it's probably still a little too hot for it. All right, I've got the infamous sweater, sweater Weather and Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I heard that this had a low throw this year, and it was recommended for me to try it again. So if I'm in store and I see one, I think I'm going to try sniffing it and debate that to myself. Um, the notes are juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove. As you can notice, I've decided to go over the notes. This one is okay, but it's not nearly as strong as regular um, regular sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I can tolerate this much better than regular sweet cinnamon pumpkin. My sisters, I gave them my candles of that that were too much for me. I also have a blueberry patch or blueberry pumpkin patch, and I have one that is not burned. I, I like blueberry. I'm starting to get more in tune with blueberry since they came out with that new bl blueberry uh, body care. We have blueberry maple pancakes, which is actually a fragrance that I'm working on right now, body care. And I love this both in the candle and the body care. We have champagne, apple, and honey, and this is pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. Really love this one, and this and the body care bring back some memories that are both good and bad so i don't use it that much i it's not a point of like i overused it years ago but just uh, there was some association with that and that's a story for another time but uh we have another freshly brewed coffee which is one that i bought not long ago this is enjoy the room filling aroma of fresh coffee beans as you pour yourself a cup of ambition really love this one and what is this one? This is pumpkin vanilla cream. And this one is just an okay one. 
Um, it's creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nutmeg, graham cracker crust. It smells good, but I want to wait until it's more cooler and pumpkin season. Actual pumpkin season, not it's pumpkin spice latte season in July. So, as much as I used to love doing that, it just, it doesn't work for me anymore. Some of these have winter in them, but I'd be okay, like, say I was running low on my fall candles using these. Um, this is peppermint hot chocolate. And I kind of mix fall and winter ones together anyway, like I do spring and summer. We've got chocolate swirl bread, and this is from Goose Creek. It smells okay, but I don't know how to throw on this one. It's an older one. It's going to be. I have a French baguette, which is slow rising dough, crispy crust, and a pat of butter. This does smell like sourdough bread. It, it's or French bread. It's, it kind of makes me hungry. I have another Paris Cafe. I almost finished one recently. This is rich roasted coffee, sugared brochet, and vanilla cream. And I have a thousand wishes, which is, I just thought it'd be nice to maybe have something a little different. I know it's one of those core scent candles that you can't get all the time, but I would like to use this. And I have another Paris Cafe. I do want to use some of these older Paris Cafes just because I need to. But yes, yes, I love me some coffee scents, guys. And the last flat of them. I have, this is a coffee and sarcasm one from Mainstays. This is the Walmart one. I do want to burn this to kind of get it out of my collection. It's not a hate burn, but I found I do not prefer this brand for candles. I do have a couple single wicks from them and I've tried... They're all right as a single wick in the bathroom that I wouldn't mind repurchasing, but as three wick candles, they never really do it for me. And these are candles that were in my last um, coffee and candles video. We have Into the Night, which also, this is another one that's kind of heavy. I have, did I ever burn this? I think I did once, but I know it's a little bit heavy for right now and I don't mind trying it out. We have Gingerbread Man, and this is where it starts to transition into my winter candles. I do, I think, have more in here, but I'll be pulling those out sooner. Yeah, I can't even pull that forward. It's got, it's heavy. <laughs> I have Chocolate Marshmallow Cloud, which is another older candle. Nice chocolate candle, but I'd like to use it. I, you know, don't mind using my candle collection if I, because I, I rotate, rotate through things out with the old and with the new. This is another coffee candle from Goose Creek. And another pumpkin cinnamon bun. This one I really like. I actually have some cinnamon rolls and now I'm getting hungry. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I should go make those. That's why I pulled them from up in my closet and in the backs of my shelves and moved stuff over to work on for the rest of spring, summer. And yeah, so I'm going to be working on these pretty soon. And I thought I would share with you and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, you can like and subscribe down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.